hopefully. Um, we'll see how it goes. Hey everyone, it's James from Fun Foods, and today we're going to be making some tater tot pizza. It's going to be a lot of fun. We are going to make this it's pretty simple to do. I've already started preheating my oven to 450 degrees Fahrenheit, and this is being streamed not only on YouTube, but also on Periscope and Twitch, and you now, hopefully, if it's working out good. Looks like Twitch is on now. So if you're watching me on Twitch, hello, welcome, thank you. We're going to be making tater tot pizza, and it's a really simple recipe. Uh, all you really need is, well, tater tots for one. You need tater tots. We're going to need some eggs, because this is more like a breakfast pizza, not so much an actual pizza. Uh, let me go over to my um, settings here and see if comments are coming through yet. I don't see any comments coming through. Hopefully, it's working. Um, receiving data, not fast enough. Well, we'll see how things go. So, hopefully it's doing well on Twitch. Hopefully it's doing well everywhere else. Um, YouTube, the comments are not coming through right now. Don't know why. Usually it's pretty good on that. Let me check my phone and see if it's even showing up. Should be. Can't believe there's not a comment. Oh, there we go, some comments. Hello, welcome. Notification squad, tech gadgets. Okay, great, I'm glad it's working. Y'all can hear me well? Everyone hears me fine? Good. <laughs> evening, good evening, David. Hello, Beverly. I'm early? <laughs> Six o'clock, right? Yep. So, yeah, so everyone's doing well. I didn't send any notifications on Twitter or Snapchat like I usually do. I kind of just went right into this. So just to let you know, hello, Ruby. Hello, King J, Beverly, David, Chance, uh, Carl, Tech Gadgets. Hello, all of you. Um, we're going to be making, if you came on a little late, we're going to be making tater tot pizza. And this is going to be a breakfast pizza, even though it's evening time. Yes. Uh, good evening. Uh, positive sugar, honey. Nice, cool name. Uh, one of the things I'm gonna use to make this is, let me move some things over so I can see the chat and see myself. It's always fun to look at myself, right? Uh, so one of the things we're gonna be using to make this is actually a cast iron pan. The reason I'm using this is because I'm gonna be putting it in the oven on the stove and it doesn't have a plastic or rubber um, handle. So you wanna make sure you don't use a cast iron pan that has one of those, because if you do, we put it in the oven, it's gonna melt, that's not good. So, this is fun. So, first thing we're gonna do is get prepared, right? Um, let's, I'm also broadcasting by this way. This is YouTube right here. Over here is Twitch, YouNow, and Periscope. And you can find me at Fun Foods YT on all those things, except for Twitch, I believe it's just Fun Foods. We're going to angle this down, and what we have here is our cast iron pan. I've already preheated my oven to 450 degrees. I'm going to start off by just spraying cast iron pan with some cooking spray. If you don't have cooking spray, you can use butter. That's all good. Now I'm going to open up my tater tot, because who doesn't love tater tots, right? How do you cook? Uh, how do you like to cook? Yes or no? I do. I like to cook. Yes. Uh, holy hell, that sounds good. Uh, so I'm going to take these tater tots and I'm going to line this whole thing with tater These are actually really small tater tots. Um, I don't know if they, I think they made them smaller. They used to be bigger than that. Yeah, that's weird. Okay. <laughs> or, or my hand's just getting bigger. I don't know. They're making everything smaller, right? Rolls of toilet paper, smaller, everything. So people are adding me on Snapchat. If you can hear the little notifications in the background, um, that's all good. I love it. Add me on all, all my social media is Fun Foods YT, like I said, except for on Twitch. For some reason, I just made it Fun Foods. It's all good. So just going to line this whole bottom of this with tater tots. Because who doesn't like tater tots, right? Uh, Hannah, hi James, nice cast pan, saw your live stream on Twitter. Yes, 
Oh, yes, because it goes to Periscope, which is on Twitter. Twitter uh, operates Periscope. And I'm doing this live stream both basically Twitter and there. Yep, which is really cool. So I'm glad it's working on there. Uh, I never know for sure until someone tells me. Because I'm trying to live stream to as many different platforms as possible. I just think it would be cool. Share the love, right? <laughs> uh Let's see, can you make ice cream and a big cone? Well, that's a good suggestion, I like that. Uh, can you get some more in, uh, oh, some more uh, tater tots in. I know, I'm, I'm really trying to get them in there. Uh, Janice, hi, how are you? Let's see. So hopefully the sound quality is well on Periscope and Twitch because I'm actually using this microphone for my YouTube broadcast, not so much for the, the Twitch and the um, other ones. So, now, I would like to do just one broadcast, but um, I tried it last week. I don't like that it doesn't go, I couldn't see YouTube comments, and I really like my YouTube comments. I, I really like that. So right now we're going to take this, we're going to put this in the oven as soon as it reaches temperature because it's not quite there yet. Let me angle this up. It's at about 300 degrees right now. I need it to get to about 450. And when it gets to 450, then I'll put it in the oven. But in the meantime, we'll talk. So how's everyone doing uh, this Tuesday evening? Uh, you're doing banana and chocolate chip cookies. Too. Oh my gosh, that sounds amazing, Hannah. Banana and chocolate chip. You can't go wrong with that. That's for sure. Um, yeah. So I'm guessing I'm not on you now. We'll see. Um, yeah. So, but it's all good. I'm on enough stuff at once. What is my favorite food? Uh, my favorite food, if it's like, you know, savory dishes, I would say it is... Um, like Italian food and if it's let me mute this because I know that's gonna be a, hopefully where's the mute so it's gonna all right so I'm kind of like doing two things at once here but we'll we'll get it going and uh, oh yeah so my favorite food if it's savory it's italian if it's um like dessert it's chocolate especially chocolate peanut butter chocolate peanut butter like takes the cake for me <laughs> uh let's see good how's your work week going it's going it's only tuesday it's not friday so it's going <laughs> uh beautiful missus is making chocolate chip muffins oh my gosh david you're gonna send some down to me it's only a four hour drive. You can make it. <laughs> four or five hours. What, what was it? I can't remember. But um, yeah. Oh, chocolate chip muffins. That sounds good to me for sure. <laughs> um, let's see. See, when you don't have technical staff, you're left with just me who doesn't know how to work all this technical stuff all that well, which is pretty um, bad. Uh, you're only a bit right too high. Okay. Um, hmm. Yep. So, how, let's see, you're on our way. Uh, what's your favorite barbecue? Hmm. Like place or just in general barbecue, like ribs or chicken or steak or, or like what kind of, like kind of, um, Thing I like to barbecue or the kind of sauce uh, that can go many different ways um, I like pork and I like hello for two people on twitch that are watching if you're watching um, I'm doing a live stream my name is James Lamprey fun foods uh, if you're following me on there great if you're not following me follow me because we're gonna be baking just gonna explain to the people on twitch we're gonna be making the tater tot pizza which is really cool hopefully you can see this I'm just kind of tater tot pizza so right now all we did i'm just recapping this for our friends over at twitch 
Uh, I have a cast iron pan, which I sprayed with cooking spray. I have some tater tots, just frozen tater tots. They're gonna go in the oven in just a moment. But I'm answering questions from comments over on my YouTube channel, which is the main channel I operate. And it's at Fun Foods or Fun Foods YT. So uh, we're answering comments over there, waiting for the oven to heat up. It's almost there, waiting for it to get to 450. This will be the first step in making our um, making our tater tot pizza. Jelly Ducky, welcome. Uh, so thank you for joining everyone, whether you're joining on Twitch, Periscope, uh, you now doesn't seem to be working, or YouTube. Thank you all. Um, if you don't know, I make YouTube videos. Every Saturday I do a Mountain Dew related video. Every Sunday I do just a normal food related video. And Tuesday night at 6 p.m. Eastern time in the U.S., I do a live broadcast. So we're going to keep with that schedule for now. And if I have a random video, it'll go out on Thursday night. And just random video, so who knows. Um, so, like I said, hopefully everyone's doing well. In general, the barbecue, my ribs, and spicy wings. See, I don't care for spicy stuff, but um, I do like barbecue, just not spicy. I'm weird. So, uh, some of the other things I plan on doing, I still plan on playing Fortnite for the first time ever. I've never played Fortnite, but when I do, I'm going to do a live broadcast on Twitch. And it'll only be on Twitch, not on YouTube. It might go on Periscope. We'll see. Um, I'll do a live broadcast of me trying to play Fortnite for the first time ever, which I think was going to be really fun. Um, just something different. I know it's not cooking, but it's something fun. And that's something I'm going to try on Twitch, uh, so that'll be great. It'll be a lot of fun doing that, I think. So, um, we it's our oven's going to ring in a minute. Just thought I would let you listen to the sound. It tells me that the oven has reached 450 degrees, so we are going to take our... <laughs> So here we go. So we're going to take this. We're just going to put this in the oven just as it is. Now I'm going to do it for 15 minutes. Uh, but again, just a reminder, if your cast iron pan, doesn't, does, if it has a rubber or plastic handle, don't put it in the oven because it will melt and that will be bad. Oh, that's not good. I'm breaking eggs on the counter. Okay. <laughs> didn't want to do that so now what we're going to do is crack some eggs well this one is already cracked so let's start with that one that's professional here I'm a professional don't try this at home <laughs> okay let's crack some eggs yep we're going to do about five eggs in here because remember, we're making a tater tot pizza, but it's a breakfast tater tot pizza. And I think five eggs should be good. There we go. And wash my hands a little. All right, dry them off. Um, yeah, you hate spicy. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I agree with you. I don't abuse the taste buds. No, I want to taste. I don't want to taste spice. I just want to taste the good stuff, right? I want to taste the flavor. So, yeah, definitely it's all about the flavor, not about the not about the spice. So, I agree 100% Janice with you. So, yep. Um, let's see. Are you going color the cheese like Sunday's video? That was pretty neat. Uh, very eye-catching for sure. Yeah, that was neat. Um, I like doing that, and it was a lot of fun to do something as simple as a cheese video like that. And, um, you know, it, it was just fun. Oh, by the way, let me put my tater tots back in the freezer. So what we do is we crack the five eggs. We're going to make these scrambled eggs. So I'm just going to scramble them up in a bowl here before we put them on our, on our skillet. And um, we're going to do this on a separate skillet because, of course, the other one is in the oven. 
So I'll mix this up. Also, if you have, uh, if you want to put bacon on there as well, which I think is really good, and I would have done it except for the fact that I just realized I don't have any bacon left in my refrigerator. Um, that's what I get for eating all the bacon. But I was going to put bacon on the top. You want to pre-make the bacon, just pre-cook the bacon and do that. And then when this is all done, you can put the bacon on top too. And it'll really make it good. But I'm just scrambling these eggs. How hard can that be? Uh, let me look over here and see if there's no one on Twitch right now. But that's okay. Maybe they can replay it. <laughs> um, so let's get back over here. Uh, sorry for being late, Dave. Uh, I appreciate you being here. Cracking eggs with one hand with one hand is harder. I don't think so. I've done it quite a few times. <coughs> in fact, let me angle this back up. In fact, one of the things I always do when I do a collaboration with people, especially if they're not like hooks or stuff, um, I make them crack an egg with one hand. I just I find it to be fun and entertaining for the most part. And if you can look at a lot of my collaborations, uh, you'll see that I make them crack an egg with one hand just so I can laugh at them. I know I did it with Slice and Rice. Uh, Slice was funny. Matt, he was hilarious trying to crack it with one hand. Um, I know I did it with somebody else, and I can't remember who. I don't know if it was R3Bs. Maybe they tried it. I, I can't remember. Um, hmm. I don't know. Uh, let's see. Get back to the comments here. Uh, I agree. Have some place in the flavor, not for the burn. Yeah. Uh, always put bacon if it's an option. Yes, I agree a hundred percent. If it's an option, always put the bacon in Inferno Angel. Uh, just got back from my field trip and told everyone. Oh well, thank you so much, Chance. You're awesome. I really appreciate that. I love the fact that you're sharing sharing the um, sharing my channel. That's awesome. So I'm just. Right now, baking the tater tots, and these are just frozen tater tots because why not? It has about 10 more minutes left. I'm going to check them after that and see how they're doing. Uh, another thing what we can do is I'll get the other pan ready. I'm not going to bake. I'm not going to cook the eggs yet because it doesn't take long for them to cook. So I'm going to wait until the tater tots come out of the oven to actually cook them. But it doesn't mean we can't prepare the pan, right? So, let me get back to this. Uh, let's see. All right. So, is there not a lot of people today? <laughs> yeah, it doesn't seem like there's a lot of people on the broadcast today, but that's okay because you guys are here and that's all that matters. <laughs> and everyone else, they're busy. They'll catch up later. Right? So, um... If you're watching on Periscope, let me know. Make sure you follow me. And, um, you know, also follow me on Twitter, Fun Foods YT. Everything's Fun Foods YT. Follow me on Twitter. Follow me on YouTube, especially because that's where most of these videos go out to. It, um, like I said, every Sunday has a regular food video. All my stuff's family friendly. Uh, every Saturday is a Mountain Dew video, which. I have to finish shooting the end of that video. Um, I filmed it two weeks ago, the start of it, and now I can film the end of it because it worked. Well, partially. <laughs> so I can't wait. I can't wait to film the end of that video. So that will go up this Saturday for a Mountain Dew video. And um, let's see. Sunday's video is already filmed and edited. I'm way ahead of the game. Hmm. So, <laughs> so I got a lot going on. Uh, let's see. Gaming Patrol. Yes, I do remember you. Absolutely. So, yep, I remember you. I'm just gonna... So does anyone have... Let's see. Do you make these recipes up? Sometimes, yes. Sometimes I get inspiration from my viewers. I get inspiration online. Uh, a lot of people give me suggestions all the time, and I'm always open to suggestions because it is hard coming up with new things all the time. And uh, you come up with different recipes and uh, a lot of the Mountain Dew stuff I come up with or it's suggested by people because I just try to use Mountain Dew as a recipe and then whatever I can think of, try to make it into Mountain Dew. So, yep. Nice. Can't wait. Yep. 
And basic rule I have for making recipes is if it's fun, then we can do it. Um, if it's something that's just boring, hmm, not so much. If it's fun or unusual, that's kind of like the threshold I have because it's called fun foods, right? So let's make something fun. Let's make something unusual, just like tater top pizza. I mean, who, who comes up with this stuff? And I know it's around. There's lots of people who made different versions of tater top pizza. It's not like I'm the first person to ever do this, but it's just a fun thing. Let's make it and you can make it your way. Uh, nice. Can't wait. Awesome. Uh, even my kids love your page. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. And that's the thing too. That's why I always want my channel to be family friendly because I know a lot of kids watch and I want to make sure um, the content I put out is acceptable for the whole family to watch. And that's what's fun, right? They can watch it as a family and not have to worry about what I'm going to say or do. Everything is going to be okay. I'm just looking down at the tater tots and see how they're coming along coming along uh, they might be another seven or eight minutes we'll say it says six and a half minutes but we'll see uh, do you ever try the different flavors of Mountain Dew in recipes I do I have tried I think code red once or well I know I made the code red Mountain Dew cake and that really didn't well it did have the flavor in it too so I used it in the cake um, I, I don't know what, I'm pretty sure I used another one, maybe the blue one. Can you make Big Mac and cheese noodle? Oh yeah, Big Mac and cheese noodle, like, um, uh, let's see, is it, was it the noodle bun? I, I don't know what you mean, like, just a Big Mac, or is it something called that? Big Mac and cheese noodle? I don't know. Go over and check out the Twitch. Uh, so it says no one's following me on Twitch right now, or no one's watching at the moment on Twitch. But it's all good. Um, I am going to check Twitter and see if it's showing up on there. I know someone said I was broad. Hannah said I was broadcasting on Twitter, so that's good. Um, oh, <laughs> does it say Death by Chocolate as my broadcast? I am not. See, <laughs> it, it says Death by Chocolate, but it's not Death by Chocolate. So the, the title's wrong on Periscope. So if you're watching me on Periscope, sorry guys, the title's wrong. Uh, that's not the, the right title. I'll work out the kinks, don't worry. <laughs> Eventually we'll get it. Uh, but the title's wrong if you're watching on Periscope and maybe on um, Twitch. It's probably wrong too. I'd have to check after I'm done. But... It's okay, we're making tater top pizza, so you'll know. Tater top pizza, the tater top part is in the oven right now. It has about five more minutes left on those, and we just have them in a cast iron pan, and they are heating up. They were just frozen tater tots, nothing special, nothing hard to make or anything. Very easy, we've all done it. Tater tots, right? <laughs> Who hasn't had tater tots? Um, let's see, go back to the comments here. Uh, do you even try different flavors? Yes. Uh, can you make, oh uh, yeah, I did that one. Dave says Mountain Dew chips crisp and I have, I made Mountain Dew, uh, crisp or chips, whichever you want to call it. So if you're in Australia or the UK, you call them crisp. If you're in the US, you call them ch chips or potato chips. I made Mountain Dew potato chips, uh, about, um, what, about a month ago or so. Something like that. And that was rather, rather difficult to make because you can't just put liquid on a chip because if you do, you know, the flavor, it'll make it soggy. So I had to first chemically make the Mountain Dew. I had to turn it into a powder. And to do that, I think it's multidextrate, multidextrose, I think it's called, is what I had to use. So if you watch the video, I explain it. And you have to use that first to turn the Mountain Dew into a solid. And then that turns it into the powder. And then I use that powder to put on the chips. It was a lot of hard work. That's not one of the easy recipes, but it can be done at home. So if you really wanted to do it, you could do it. And um, yeah. So let's see. Hi, James. Oh, Lightning. Hi, Lightning FMC. Hello. I know you follow me on Twitter, I believe, and I think Snapchat. I can't remember. Uh, Rimdog17 says... 
do a backflip. All right, watch. Yeah, no, that's not gonna happen. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, I'll be in the hospital. That'll be I'll be live streaming from the hospital if I try to do a backflip. Trust me. Uh, I haven't had tater tots. You've never had tater. Beverly has never had tater tots. No way. Everyone's had tater tots. Um, tater tots are the best. It's like the go-to. You just pull the bag out, stick it in the oven, they heat up, put a little salt on them, dip them in ketchup or whatever your favorite sauce is to dip them in, and uh, that's what you do. <laughs> so, yeah, tater tots are great. You can put cheese on them, everything. So, uh, Infernal Angel says hi, or ha ha, yeah. Uh, same, Dave says lol. Uh, I'm going to check on these tater tots again. They're coming along. Let's see. I like my tater tots extra crispy, and I don't think the 15 minutes is going to do it. So we're going to add a couple more. We're going to go three more minutes. About three more minutes should do it. I like my tater tots extra crispy. Yep. Just like my bacon extra crispy. Have you figured out how to make Mountain Dew cotton candy yet? Um, I think I do know how. I haven't done it, but I think think I do know how. It's a matter of do I want to make that much of a mess. Uh, in fact, just Sunday, I cleaned my kitchen like everything. Pulled like the stove out, cleaned behind the stove, cleaned the stove because my stove was looking pretty bad. Uh, that's what happens when you make a whole bunch of recipes. Uh, your stove gets pretty messed up, especially like candy recipes because it sticks to it. It's just a, it's just a mess really. But uh, I clean my kitchen right now. I'm standing in a clean kitchen. I am so happy. Uh, don't mind the junk that's over there. <laughs> but yeah, it's clean anyway. Every part of it. Like I even replaced the this right here. I'll show you guys. Um, so this right here, if you notice, is not really wood. What it is is it's a wallpaper that I put on a wooden thing like this. So what it is is it's just wallpaper and it gets pretty messy through making you know what 450 different videos so i've had to replace it quite a few different times and um so i've replaced it quite a few different times and i had to replace that over the weekend so i did that um lots of different stuff uh let's see where am i uh, I do prefer curly fries, if I must say so. Yes, I do too. I like curly fries over regular fries, especially like Arby's curly fries. That's really cool. <laughs> uh, yeah, extra crispy. Yes, extra crispy for sure. Do you know how to make roses out of Jolly Ranchers? I would love to see a video. Rosa, I guess I could. I've never thought about it. Um, I'm sure I could probably do it. It'll be a challenge. It wouldn't be easy, but I'm sure I could do it. Yeah, absolutely. There's always a way, right? Um, so we're just going to check on our tater tots real quick. They're smelling good. That's a good sign. And uh, to make this, normally I would use... Um, cheddar cheese for a breakfast but I didn't have any cheddar cheese actually I had some but there it was bad so I had to throw it out um, so I'm gonna be using mozzarella cheese still cheese just not cheddar cheese which I would prefer to use if I was doing this like if I planned it out I literally plan my live streams about an hour before I go live it's pretty bad I, I'm so horrible at it uh, <laughs> James you should make a giant Oreo I have still not done yet um, I have made a giant Oreo before giant Oreo cookie and it wasn't a cake it was actually a giant Oreo cookie but this was four years ago I would say and I, when you learn how to make the filling from that cookie you're just gonna want to eat the filling and not actually have the cookie at all it's, it's pretty amazing but um, yeah I did do it it was early on in my YouTube career and I, you know, I made it. <laughs> so you can always check my recipes or go back on my channel. If you don't know how to check a recipe out, if you go on my channel, the actual channel page itself, there's a search bar that's about a third down the page and that searches only stuff on my channel. So you can just search like Oreo cookie or whatever, just Oreo. 
and it'll show you all the recipes that have Oreos in it or whatever. Um, that's one way of searching things. So if you just want to see Mountain Dew stuff, you can just search Mountain Dew and it'll search all the recipes I have just Mountain Dew. If you just want cakes, just search cake and it'll show you that. So it's just a, a tool that not everyone knows about. They think they have to search all of YouTube. You don't, if you're on my channel itself, just go into the search bar on my channel, which is about a third of the way down from the top. And I think it's over to the right, if I remember correctly. So um, if I knew how to do all the fun stuff with here, I would just show you with a screenshot of it. But I, I would mess things up bad and probably mess up the whole broadcast. <laughs> I'm not that technical, sa technically savvy. <laughs> That's a cool idea uh, for the kitchen. Uh, oh, good idea for the kitchen. You're talking about the uh, table cloth or the, the paper, wallpaper for the, you know, it looks like wood. Cheese and bacon, mm, yes. Let me check this. All oh, those hair tops are getting good. They're getting close. They're getting close. It always takes longer than I expected. And actually, I increased the temperature because on the bag it says uh, 425 degrees, but uh, I put them to 450 because I knew I liked them, you know, like them, like them burnt, not burnt, but crispy. Uh, so if you're joining us now and you're joining us late, just want to go over a recap what we're making. We're making tater tot pizza, and right now our tater tots are in the oven cooking on a cast iron pan. It's just a layer of tater tots. We scrambled up some eggs. This is five eggs scrambled. We are going to cook those as soon as those tater tots come out of the oven. In fact, we might start cooking them now just because it's getting close. So it's getting close for them to come out of the oven. Let's angle these down so you can watch me cook. I have two different laptops going here, guys. So bear with me. Um, so I'm going to spray a little bit there. And what did I do with Oh, wow. I don't need this the wrong thing now another trick here it is a little trick don't tell anyone this trick but if you don't want your eggs to stick to your spatula spray that as well right that'll help so now we're going to get this nice and hot before we put our eggs in there So that is working out. I'll put that back over here. All the many things I gotta do. Let me check those. Uh, yeah, the wallpaper, yep. So yeah, the wallpaper on the board is a good idea. And the reason I did that was years ago, I was told by a network that having something, cause like my, my countertop is very, it's kind of weird, I'll show you. A little bit there so my countertop is very busy looking you know with all the little spots and all so what they said was as a suggestion was make something a little more eye appealing as a backdrop and that's what I did oh world supporter checking in just to say hi well okay well I'm glad you checked in I am really happy to have anyone on here we're making tater tot pizza just to let you know so if you want to come back and watch it when you get a chance that's fine our tater tots are in the oven cooking we're going to be making our scrambled eggs these are five scrambled eggs this is going to go on top of the tater tots of course there'll be a layer of cheese in between and if you have bacon you're going to put that on top of that so let me put my eggs in and turn the heat down a little. So we're just frying up those eggs or scrambling up the eggs. So we're doing that right now and I know you can't really see, but you can kind of, maybe. Nah, I have too much stuff on the counter to be doing all that. <laughs> I can just see both my laptops falling. That wouldn't be good. So it, it's, we're just cooking the eggs up right now. Um, what are you guys' plans for the weekend? Are y'all doing anything fun, exciting? Um, let's see, it worked well. Awesome. 
Yep. Uh, let's see. So, what I am doing, I'm getting ready for VidCon, which is coming up in a couple weeks. I'll be in California. VidCon is a convention, YouTube convention, really video of all kinds, whether it's YouTube, Facebook, whatever. You can smell them cooking. I can too, which is pretty cool. <laughs> uh, but yeah, YouTube or VidCon is a YouTube convention or convention with uh, other online creators, which is really cool. So we're getting ready for that. I'm just going to angle this up so you can see me. So you're not just looking at a empty, empty counter, which isn't good. So it's pretty cool. I go to this will be my fourth year of going to the U.S. VidCon. I went to VidCon in Amsterdam just in March, and um, it's a lot of fun. Uh, working this weekend, Beverly. Uh, sorry you had to work. Checking out. Hope to see you next time. Oh, awesome! I hope you're here next time as well. World supporter. Got my son a guitar for his birthday. Oh, lucky kid. Uh, yeah, regret. <laughs> yeah, so now, now you have to battle through his learning experiences on the guitar. That's, uh, oof. Better you than me. <laughs> so I am still cooking in tater tots. I'm letting them go in there long as possible as we cook the eggs. I'm going to flip them now, the eggs. As I'm getting alerts on my phone, all kinds of alerts, because I kept the volume on instead of turning it off like a pro, right? But it's all fun. <laughs> so we're cooking the eggs. The tater tots are still in the oven cooking. They're really done at this point, but I want them extra crispy because they're tater tots and I love them extra crispy. So they're still cooking. Uh, so if you're following me on Twitter or Twitch, Periscope, obviously Periscope's through Twitter. That's all cool. Uh, you now, I don't believe, is broadcasting me because I think I checked it and I didn't see myself broadcasting. But that's okay. Uh, so we'll work on that. And um, yeah, me to Dave. Yep. So we're actually scrambling the eggs right now. Our tear tots are in the oven. When they come out, I want to show you what to do. It's going to be a lot of fun. This is just a simple recipe for our Tuesday night live stream because we got to make the recipe simple for our live streams and um, you know we don't want the live stream to go on forever it's a good opportunity just to ask questions if you have questions to ask uh, if you want to talk about a recipe give me suggestions for other recipes that's all good I made this Sunday I made the rainbow pizza which was a lot of fun so simple to do you know a lot of people are scared to make a, uh, a homemade dough but it's really simple to do. Uh, you make that dough, uh, the only thing that's like um, scary at all is if your temperature is too hot for the water and it kills the yeast. So just be careful about the temperature is best to use a candy or a thermometer of some sort so that you don't kill the yeast. If the yeast works, then your recipe most likely will work. So that's the good thing. Check these eggs in the Coming along, coming along, my friends. All right. And, oh yeah, tater tots are looking good. They can come out at any minute, um, which they will as soon as my eggs are done. I will do that. Uh, I like it when you have savory stuff on live streams, gives you ideas for dinner. It, it's very true. That, that makes a lot of sense. Um, because during the week, people want something quick and easy for dinner that they can make and uh, this is something even though it's really a breakfast but breakfast for dinner is good everyone loves breakfast for dinner uh, so uh, yes the rainbow pizza my kids was excited to make yeah and it's so simple I mean even if you don't want to go through the process of making your own dough you can get a store-bought dough and you can just get cheese and it, it takes a little while of mixing it you know, when I first tried it, I put the gel-based food coloring in it, and I'm mixing it going, oh, man, it's not going to mix. But after mixing it a while, it does, it mixes in good. So it, it does work out. So don't give up on the, on the mixing it. 
But that's it. And then you can decorate it whatever way you like. You can do it rainbow style. You can do it anything type of style, really. Um, beer and tater tots. <laughs> yeah, beer and tater tots. I don't have any beer. Um, Diet Coke, not a sponsor. But yeah, that's about it. <laughs> I know I should be really drinking a Mountain Dew, but... <laughs> All right, so what do you say we pull out our tater tots here. So I'm going to put on my glove. Here, I'll angle the camera down so you can see that. Now let me get these cameras angled down so you can see me pull these out, right? All right, so here we go. All right. Nice. And it's hot. Whew, very, very hot. All right, so what I'm going to do right here, take some cheese. Like I said, if you have cheddar cheese, I would use that. But I don't have cheddar cheese, so I'm going to use mozzarella. Because I, I did not prepare well for our, <laughs> our live stream. So I'm going to take some mozzarella. You can put as much or as little as you like. And you can still hear it working there. Now, our egg. This is our scrambled egg that we just made. Take the egg. And it should fit fairly good there. Look at that. Nice. And of course, another layer of cheese because I'm a cheeseaholic. And uh, yeah go with some more cheese it would be so much better if this was my our cheddar cheese I do have some cheddar cheese just not enough we can do another little bit of cheese on here right why not should I put some cheddar on there let me know some cheddar on there as well as the mozzarella what do you think a little bit of cheddar cheese Make it all look good. Um, there we go. There's some cheddar on there as well, just for color and flavor. Uh, let's see, I had a really good laugh at the video in Heathrow when you drank the Diet Coke. I wonder where the Mountain Dew was. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, oh, so you're in Heathrow Airport? Ugh. I was there for 16 hours on St. Patrick's Day. Two flights canceled, trying to get to Ireland, and stuck in Heathrow Airport in London for 16 hours. The joys of traveling. <laughs> so hopefully you're not stuck there for 16 hours like I was. Um, can never have too much cheese. I'm with you on that, Inferno Angel. Uh, no, you said the cheddar was rotten. Oh no, the other one I threw out, not this one. This one's good, it's just I didn't have enough of it. Uh, oh yeah, more cheese and cheddar, yeah. Cheddar. <laughs> yep, so this is good, it's just um, I, I had another package that was rotten. But I already threw that one out. So this is it. Um, if you want to melt that cheese a little bit, put it back in the oven just for a little bit, not long. So we're gonna do that, see how long it takes. It shouldn't take long at all for that to, to melt away. And then I'll get a knife out and something like this so we can pull it out nicely and get a nice cut. And like I said, I'm always unprepared. I should have all this plates and stuff laid out, ready to go. Uh, Fireblaze Jackie, hello. <laughs> big deal gaming hi how are you uk airports are bad <laughs> well i had a decent experience there it's just i wasn't planning on being there for 16 hours i didn't mind it it was just 16 hours was a little much a little too much for me a 
What should I, should I cut the pizza with a knife or with an actual pizza cutter? I don't know. <laughs> You're new to my channel. Well, hello, welcome, Fireball or Fireblaze Jackie. I'm glad you're here. We are making tater tot pizza. We're making tater tot pizza and it's in the oven. It's almost done actually. We're just melting the cheese that we put on the top and uh, you'll see in just a second when it comes out. Yeah, it's ready to come out. I'm gonna angle this back down so you can see that pizza. Here we go. Check it out guys. How do you like that? This is our tater tot pizza. It has a layer of tater tots, a layer of mozzarella cheese, which I would just use cheddar, but I had a lot more mozzarella. Then an egg, then mozzarella and cheddar cheese on top. And of course we gotta take a picture because you know, I need that for Instagram and stuff, all that fun stuff. Gotta do that. Let's move all this junk out of the way so the picture looks good. Mm, let me get the all that fun stuff out of the way gotta make the picture look good a couple different pictures different angles all this fun stuff 16 hours in any airport isn't good you're you're right Hannah I agree 100% although I have to admit and um, I'm lucky in the sense that I'll get a couple more pictures. Uh, I better get a picture with my other camera too. I I am very lucky in the sense that even though I was at that airport and uh, there for a long time, way longer than I expected to be, um, I was in the private lounge, so I got like free food and stuff, but I did like eat like five times because of that. <laughs> it was pretty bad. Um, but yeah, when you get free food from the buffet and all that, it was, yeah, it was good, but. Yep, just taking some pictures. Uh, oh, Jackie, okay, I will gladly call you Jackie. So, do you like food videos? Because that's mostly what I do on this channel. Let me move this aside. What do you say we cut into this and uh, what should we use to cut? A knife or a pizza cutter? A knife or pizza cutter, people? What should we do? I'm thinking knife. Just because. Um... Last chance, knife or pizza cutter, knife or pizza cutter. Let me move this back. This lighting's bad if I don't. <laughs> yep. So here we go, we're gonna cut a little knife. So we're gonna cut this. Mm -hmm. Get a little cheese pull there. Oh, you're hungry? Sorry, I'm making you hungry. All right, so let's see if we can get this in a whole piece. I don't think, might. oh, look at that. It's coming out. Cheese pull. Oh, look at that cheese pull, guys. Mmm. Yes. I'm surprised it came all in one piece there. Check it out. This is what it looks like, our tater tot pizza. I think that's a better angle over there on this side. Tater tot pizza. Check it out. Tater tot pizza, guys. Mm. Let me move this. See if we can get a good shot with both. That. I'm trying to get a good shot with the cheese and the. Mm. <laughs> I don't know, I just hold it up maybe. Try it that way. I cannot wait to try this, guys. I gotta remember not to touch that with my bare hands because that wouldn't be good. <laughs> so here we go. Uh, 
Yeah, some of these pitchers aren't going to turn out, but it's all good. Try to get all artsy with my pitchers and then I end up not using them. <laughs> it's pretty funny. But uh, let me get back to the comments there. Oh, yes, food porn. We got to do that. Definitely. Let's get another pitcher with it. Um, let's see. Looks good. I'm going to be dreaming of eating that. It is so good. I can't wait to try it, though. <laughs> now you have to go to the store and get some of the supplies for this. Hands up. Who wants a slice? Yes, definitely. Put your hands up. If you want a slice of this, I'll cut you a slice and send it to you. <laughs> All right, so we got to try this for sure. Um, I'll get, get the camera back up to me here. And uh, we got to give this a shot because it's tater top pizza. I mean, who doesn't want tater top pizza? It's the best, right? <laughs> Dave says me, everyone else, hands up, awesome. I love the emojis. See, that's the best thing ever invented. Emojis were just awesome. Let me turn the oven off. Because it is summertime and it's rather hot. But let's give this a shot. Um, I should just put a little salt on this. If you like pepper and all that stuff, air mail, yes. Mountain Dew whipped cream. <laughs> that would be something. So here we go. We're going to take a bite of this and uh, get a little bit of tater tots. Here. We'll... Look at that cheese pull, guys. Ooh. That's what I'm talking about. Mm. Definitely. Mm. The only thing I would do differently is when I did the layer of tater tots, I would then put the uh, salt on the tater tots itself. And then I would, you know, top it. Mm. Love being able to eat this while it's still hot. And that's the best part about a uh, cast iron pan because it will keep it pretty warm. And that's the good good thing about that. Cast iron is a good conductor of heat, so it keeps it nice and warm. The cheese pool is amazing. I love that. I know I'm just stuffing my face right now. Sorry, guys, but it's good. It's good. Okay. Well, of course, someone calls because it's a live stream, and that's what they always do. Um, yeah, so it's a good time to end it. <laughs> Thank you all for coming to the live stream. If you're, n I hate that phone. It'll get away in a minute. It'll, I think one more ring, then the machine should get it at this point. So if you're new to live stream, thank you so much for coming on and watching me make this tater top pizza. It was a lot of fun making this. Uh, if you're new here, hit that subscribe button. Also hit the bell notification to be notified when you put a new video out. And as always, I put a Mountain Dew video out every Saturday morning. I do a regular video every Sunday afternoon. It's just my regular recipe video. And every Tuesday night, I do a live stream. Thursday night, if there's a video, I will do a random video on Thursday nights. Um, lots of stuff coming up in the next couple of weeks. VidCon, travel, all kinds of fun stuff. So, thank you all for joining me. And... Um, I hope you get a chance to make this. And if you do, share it with me on any of my social media fun foods. And until then, I'll see you guys next time.